getting late, friends. It seems I have to call the last hand. Uh, but I'm on a roll here. I'm almost out. That's the opposite of the goal here. She's right. It's like that one game with the different colored cards. I've got to put down all of them to win. You're short a card. How have I known you've got this far? It's been five hours. One would figure you'd have to pick something up. Oh, well, I've been picking things up. <coughs> Can we please play through this last hand? I have places to be. Oh, no! Gotta get back to the business factory and make briefcases. I will remind you all that the current pot sits at around 300,000 US dollars. If you all intend to argue rather than play, then the house will be glad to take the... Oh, hey, Dee. Last man? It is. How could you tell? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Can I get everybody something to drink before I take a seat? There's water for me. A glass of bread if you have any. Something vintage. We have a fiend for good lemonade. Need something better to end the night off. Let me guess. Whiskey for the big fella? Shirley Temple, actually. And I'll have Hope with no eyes. Be right with you guys. Uh, well, as I was saying before we were rudely interrupted, Regardless, the house will be taken. All done. Yes, please, just waltz right in. I will wait. Chicago. 
I will beg on my knees if I have to. How to see you through, buddy. So, I'm sure you're all wondering how I stay so well connected. We are? Well, you see, I'm actually in possession of certain secrets about <coughs> certain privileged people. I think, no. Oh, thank God! <laughs> and for a reputation to uphold. You know, people thinking I'm some kind of softy. But I do happen to have secrets all the same. A certain prime minister of a certain European country. Bosnia? Estonia? Liechtenstein? England. Boring! No, it's not boring. It's what I dug up on the prime minister of the UK not three days ago. I caught him drinking sweetened tea <gasps> right in his own office on English soil. <laughs> I hate zombies. Please, someone help me get out of here. You're not lost already, bro. 
Yes, and please just help me. I can see them closing in. Oh, we're coming to get you. You'll be fine. Just shut up. Do you guys see this weird entrance? It looks like it might be an Easter egg. There's something good in it. Oh my god. I am finally safe from anguish. What are you talking about, Zoe? Whoa, I just got level 10 armor. Oh, there's more for the rest of you guys, too. Purple, blue, green, and red. I'm calling purple. I'm definitely getting green, then. Give me that armor stuff. I absolutely need blue. Good, no one's ever taking my cool red color away. Or else they're gonna get the Jake special. My fist and your face. Hey, I see a building over there. Can you can see if they have supplies? Okay, now after we're out of here, we're going to... Wait, there's too many zombies in here. We need to get out! I think we're doomed at this point. If the zombies are going to eat my flesh, help! Help! <laughs> the game isn't real, you'll be fine. <sighs> that was definitely a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. It was really gory, that's for sure. You can say that again. I was starting to think we were watching My Little Pony affectionate you. So. <laughs> no, wait, you what? Nothing. It was nothing. I did not. <laughs> I like that game, but it was also a bit unnecessary with the gore. I don't think we'll be able to play it again, especially how Nate is acting. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. It was still a good choice, though. Is there a single-player version, like, at all? Now that you mention it, there technically is, but the review site is such, so... Oh. Well, I guess I'm not ever playing that game again. Nate, you can come back. There's no more zombies. You're fine. Whatever do you mean? I've been fine this entire time. <laughs> Nate never gets nervous. Am I right? Okay, buddy. Sure. Hey, it's been a long day. I think we should get some rest. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Jake, no one is going to believe you. Not if you were any fun. Please, I already had my special protein waffles. I haven't did a bigger workout routine than I usually do. I really do not care about anything you're saying. Just leave me in peace. It's fine. I'll just wait till Jake gets home, I guess. I can't take this anymore. Are you done? No. Can you guys quit your gap? And guys! You will never guess what I found on the side of the road. Jade, you literally pick stuff up off the street all the time. <laughs> it's expected at this point. Okay, Nate, now you're just ruining the mood. I can help my scavenging instincts. Now, get a look at this thing. It's begging to be played on the console. Why is there, like, weird green stuff on it? Well, um, technically we found it in the kicked over trash can, so it's bound to have something on it. It's just on the outside, though, so the actual game should be fine. Alright, well, should we play it? I don't know. I have work later tonight. <sighs> Just call off work tonight. It shouldn't be that bad. The people at your office aren't going to care too much about their stupid late night coffee orders. You would be surprised, but I'll see what I can do. If this slots, it's all your fault, Jake. Why is no one else freaked out about the green thing on this thing? It's not like trash can green, it's like radioactive it's green. So we chill, it's fine. Well, don't blame me if you get some weird disease from looking through the trash like that. Again. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, this green goo is looking pretty edible right now. Do not eat that, please. <laughs> Come on, wouldn't you eat that? No, it literally <laughs> looks like some science class oobleck. I would not eat that. <laughs> I can kind of see the appeal. But I gotta be honest, it is kind of weird that it has like such a bright green to it. What if it's like like a murder weapon? What? You know, like poison or something. What if it's acid? <laughs> if it was acid, I think it would have burned through the case by now. Well, that's a bummer. Mm -hmm. I wish I could drink acid. Mm -hmm. Hey, it looks like my boss said she's gotten the cake taken care of. Sweet, bro. Why don't we just pop this bad boy in?
Jade, I told you about this. Where even are we? Ow, my head. What? I just care about my friends who want to play another video game with you guys. Well, this ended up being more than just a video game. And I skipped out on work just for this. Huh, I mean, there's nothing we could do now except just accept our fate. We are in literal space. How are we even leaving right now? Hmm, video game magic? I mean, if we were in actual space, then how we would be dead by now? Oh my god, I can't believe this. Whoa, hey, what are you guys doing? Dude, like, check this out. There's like armor and weapons and shit. Yeah, this stuff is pretty cool. Alright, who wants what? Oh, I'm definitely calling this lightsaber. <laughs> I'm about to make some crazy biscuits with this. Okay, Zoe, we have to become besties. And I know that you might hate me because we are technically in space and it's kind of my fault, but maybe think about it. Mm, I guess. Bye. Bye. See you there. I guess I'll leave you with the sword and shield then. Fits me nicely, I think. <laughs> Alright, dogs, let's go explore. Or whatever. Could see me, the real me. Okay, that sounds really dumb whenever I say it out loud. 
Maybe after fighting this war, I could be the better me I've always needed. And then my friends could like me more. <laughs> okay, but seriously, I am going to commit. I swear on my life I will fight for this freaky war. Okay, that was kind of sad, bro. <laughs> um, I think I'll go ahead and go next. So there I was, this morning just making my protein waffles completely maxed out, like totally killing it. Even though I do that all the time. But suddenly the day goes by and I'm in space, training to fight this freak war or something. When am I gonna get home to making my waffles? So I decided to fully max out and fight by my totally cool sick friend's size, but not as cool as me type of way. Oh, you two were, <laughs> oh great, I think I'm gonna mix I'm not really sure why I put up with my friends sometimes, but what I do know is that I need to go home. This is completely detrimental to my super secret career plan, to which no one must know about. Ugh, please let me out. I know I'm not much of a fighter, but if it means I can go home and have some alone time, I will do whatever it takes. I will fight with my whole being. Okay, I guess that leaves just me then. <clears throat> It's a really cool place, and all my friends are here. And even if they don't like it, they'll get used to it eventually. Real life is boring. You eat, you sleep, you pay taxes. It's entirely exhausting just thinking about it. Which is why I think that staying here is our best solution! What? No! no! Jake, that's completely absurd. Why would you say that? Why is it a bad thing to say? Do you really want to go back to real life? Yes. If I was stuck here wasting away my entire life, I think I'd miss out on some of the possibilities her life to offer. Yes, it may be boring from time to time, but there's so much more life. All the people you meet, the challenges you face, are all totally unique to each person. I think I want video games, the same story over and over again. I agree. Even though I may be a bit of a loser sometimes, I would still rather be home. Not to mention seeing family. I want a chance to live a fulfilled life. And choosing to live the same path over and over again is what's actually boring. Man, when I get home, I'm gonna quit my job and find a better one. Can we please go home so I can eat my waffles? <laughs> Life is never complete without a place that has waffles. <laughs> this place does not have waffles. Therefore, <laughs> it's super lame, and we should really get home to fighting this war. So please, let us get out of here, safe and alive. Huh. You know, I think this is starting to make sense now. Thanks, guys, for helping me see through this. Wait, I just realized we have no clue doing here? Have they been set up? Zorb! Are you kidding me? We're, we're stuck here for real? No, my life is ruined. I my waffles. I just want to quit my job and be normal. <laughs> One thing is for certain. Whatever you do, do not, I repeat, do not take things out of trash cans, especially if it's a suspiciously green goo covered video game. Service, of course. Looks like that trail didn't even have the scenic view it claims to have. I try to get some fresh air for once, and I guess this is what I get. What the? Greetings, traveler. My name is Vasa. My people notified me of a stranger in our area. I am assuming that is you. I guess I'm just lost. My name is Danny. Well, then, hello, Danny. May I ask where you're from? I'm from a nearby town, a bit far from here. I was on a walk and then I got lost. I'm not exactly a local, but my family did move from a different state a little while ago. I heard that the trail had some great scenery, but it doesn't look like it. Could you help me get back? I will, but why don't you stay a while? The 
journey back this late, I feel guilty. If I made you go back without knowing what could happen to you, are you like testing me? I'm sorry? You're a stranger to me. How exactly do you expect me to follow you? Are you planning on killing me or something? No, I promise I mean no harm. Just, just good intentions. The sun is about to set. I'd feel bad if I were to leave you out here by yourself. I appreciate the offer, but I must get going. No, Danny, I know you are suspicious, but I truly mean it. This forest isn't safe at night. You're back. Who is this? This is Danny. She's lost, so I offered for us to help with her for a little bit. Just until we can figure out a way back for her. Danny, these are three of my people. Portia, Noel, and Yuritsi. They'll help you get settled, but until then, I need to speak with them for a moment. Um, stay here, please. This place seems off. Maybe I'm just judging too early. I only met them minutes ago. Come with me, Danny. This is just temporary. We'll keep her here in sight. If you lose sight of her, find me immediately. Our settlement can't be tampered with, and I don't want her wandering off either. Maja, maybe we should just send her on our way. Get her what she needs to get back home. We've never had a situation like this before. I understand that, but sending someone out to the unknown? I don't know about you, but I'd feel guilty about that. No, I understand your concern, Noel, but I agree with your easy. We can't just send a woman off into the unknown. I feel like you, out of all people, should know that. I know there was a one-time thing. We're not going to let anyone experience something like that again. This settlement is my life, and so are you and all of the others. I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Yes, ma'am. Great! Now you fit in. Let's head over here. Just a bit over here. I just want to get to know you since you are our guest. So, I know you know my name, but you should want to know one of my most loyal citizens. This is Portia. So, what do you think about us? I'm not exactly sure. What do you think about me? You're a hard person to read. But one thing I can tell you is that you don't belong here. Portia! I'm sorry about her. She's nice, I promise. She's just tit. Right, Portia? Sure, let's go with that, Noel. Tough cookie you are. What did you just say? Nothing. I'm sorry about her. I'm Noel. I'm a patrol for the area. I just look around, report anything suspicious, or anything along those lines. Hello, I'm Yuritsi. Portia and I are lodging tonight, campus. If you need anything and why she's around, you can come to one of us. Portia. I understand you're suspicious, but we must welcome visitors with open arms, even if they're not our permanent family. Danny, I'm sorry. I know we've said this before, but us as a civilization haven't seen many outsiders in such a long time. It's fine, but the only thing I really want to do is to go home. I understand that, but we must follow Marge's rules. If you need to know anything about her home, you can ask her. Um, Maja usually lets you Borsha for a short amount of time. I wonder what's taking so long. Uh, I'll go check on him. Could you stay here, please? So, how long have you been in the settlement? Oh, I've been here my whole life. Me and my family have been part of this place for generations, just like everyone else's. How long have you been living near her home? Um, a little over four months. My family is full of travel enthusiasts, so whenever there's rumored to be a new hotspot for people like us, we're quick to find it. <laughs> I apologize for how I act. It's all right. See? We can make up. Simple misunderstanding. Sure. <coughs> so, where were we? Oh, since you are our guest, why not let you ask about our home? Or even our history. Sure, I have a few questions. How long have you guys been out here? Not just you guys, but the settlement. Our 
ancestors first set the settlement a couple hundred years ago. We were told they were kicked out of a civilization a bit like yours. Not too sure of the reason, though. We used to have visitors, people who just passed through. That's why we know some modern languages. But as time went on, people stopped showing up as often. There was rumor that there was an unknown presence that we were responsible for. Unbelievable, in my opinion. Our people love visitors. I promised you, Danny. Oh, Maja, I think you're getting a little off track. Oh, you must be right, Yuritsi. Thank you. All right, how long have you been their leader? My mother left leadership up to me about 15 years ago. There has been times where it's been rough, but my people have always been there to love and support me. That's sweet. Danny, do you know what I have to do as a leader to protect my people? People who have come here and threatened our home? I must do whatever it takes to make sure they feel safe. But what does this have to do with your leadership? Oh, those kinds of people haven't been here in a very, very long time. It's normally just harmless wanderers or lost people. We usually just, we usually just send them off after a day of being with us. Oh, never mind whatever you heard about that first part. So much has been going on that things just, things just don't feel right. Uh, I apologize for Maja. I don't know why she skipped to this topic, even though it was a hard one for her to talk about. She'll be fine, but it takes a toll on us to talk about the past of the settlement. I'll go speak with her. Over here. You seem tense. Throughout your whole visit, you have been. I just have no idea what I've walked into. I understand. It's a new place, so things are strange, but you can always consider this a hole in your bones. Thank you. You're welcome to that. Cut the friend crap, Noel. As far as we know, she can be a friend word of our existence. And to be honest with you, the only reason I haven't killed her yet is because Maja has told us not to, for whatever good reason. Tell me what you plan on doing to our home, and I might just let you keep all your fingers. For sure. <laughs> Maja will be back any second. You need to calm down. It doesn't matter. She is something to Masha, and we need to stop her before she does something else to all of us. I'm not sure what you even mean. Portia, I have told you already. Dating is just lost, just as she said a million times before. Lost. We need her here because... Enough. This woman is causing you to act like this. They won't like this. This land is sacred to them. Newcomers will curse this land, and they will force us to face its consequences. Please, Masha. Portia, those kind of people don't exist. We don't believe in those things. The only reason I help outsiders is because our ancestors thought that was the best way for us to live and to honor that I continue doing so. No, that is not the case, and you know it. We've been through this cycle too many times before. She you start having second thoughts when it comes to the outsiders? You've gotten too soft, Masha. What are you insinuating, Borsha? Your leadership is flawed. Ever since more outsiders have been showing up at our doorstep, you have been wasting almost everything we have on them. What do we need a leader? You, you turned your back on us when those outsiders appeared. And when they left, you acted like nothing had happened. You care more about them than your own people. Enough, Borsha. The only reason I help outsiders is because our ancestors thought that was the best way for us to live. I just want to stop repeating the cycles. No, you've just gotten weak. <sighs> Marsha would not put outsiders first. She puts your people first. We can talk about this, right? How can you talk about this when the woman you've known as a leader, someone you can trust, is doing something you were told not to for generations? That is not something we can just walk away from. I just wanted to stop repeating the cycles. Enough. I've heard enough from you. You need see, help me out here. Enough. I don't even know what you're talking about. Sure, we can't exactly trust the woman at the moment, but we need to talk this out. We can't point fingers on something no one has caused. Fine, I'll do this myself. You do something to Masha, and you're making her think like this. I'm not sure what you're even talking about at this point. I'm not making her think like this. It seems that you've just been wanting to steal leadership from Maja for quite some time. That's stupid. You have done nothing back to common collective, but actually, <coughs> you were judging us. You just have to watch and try to stop it! Yuriti! No! Oh, no! We need to go! No! 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 Listen to Danny! Please! It's the least I can do! No!
more power than all, or if your people are coming after us, or both. Okay. Let's go. We should try to head towards the city. I know it's not your regular home, but for your safety, we should head there. It'll be a good start for you. We can do it together, and like you said, stop the cycle. No! My whole life, my everything, I can't just leave that behind! Look, I know I just met you, but please trust me on this. Leaving is our best bet of survival, okay? I'm sorry, Danny. What are you talking about? Now, why, I ain't saying a detour to Mile America wasn't necessary, but you spent all your money on that hat and film. Yo, shut the front door. My style's the bomb, dog. What's your problem? All I'm saying is you could have simply been a real man, bought yourself a cowboy hat and a pair of Jordans. Save you some money. No, no, that's a kid's outfit. Real, authentic, emo grunge men like me have taste. <laughs> kid, you carry around a Lego camera. Plus, it was in the kid's part of the store. Wait a second. Am I becoming generally insane? Or did it just become foggy? Now that you mention it, I always thought you were a little silly. Or a lunatic. They're excited. No, for real. Fog is coming. <laughs> huh. The calls on our fox stayed clear sailing all weekend. Uh, must be climate change. Liberal propaganda must be what's making me uh, nervous right now. Yo, Larry, you see anyone them walking in? The town looks to be abandoned. Hey! I just had to say there's no white. Hey! 
License and registration. Jesus! She has a gun. Take whatever you want. Just leave the camera at that. Why, we ain't even been driving. Lady, pack down! At most, we were frolicking. I'm not joking. Do you have any idea what you wandered into? No, license and registration. I don't got license. It was redacted when I had too much eggnog and in, in the duration of partaking in the act of driving a motorized vehicle. I got stiff when I was trying my alcohol underage with the learner's <laughs> Okay, okay. Do you have any idea? Anything at all to live? tell me that you're real? That we're real? Yes, no, hurry up.
I'm trying to get in the zone. The drone zone. No, it's mad disrespectful not to answer back, pal. As a skater, I take respect to the maximum environments and people. And I ain't insecure either. Ain't a poser needs an apology from some hippy dippy stranger reading a creepy fishing newspaper in 2024. Haven't you heard of Internet Explorer? <laughs> um, that's it. Jeez. <laughs>
being baked with a 12,000 volt flashlight. Baked, you said? Oh, why? I can't take another joke or side coming from a kid in a blonde wig. Dang, a lot of talk from someone with spray on black hair and my <laughs> fault for trying to lighten the mood. We've been hiking for seven hours straight through mad fog searching for Anna. No way we're finding a creek out of this nightmare without that chick's help. Now pick up the pipe! You know what? No. I, just, I don't want to go to Arkansas anymore, Larry. Forget Anna. <laughs> Forget this stupid town. Why, boy, we're in the trenches now? I need one of my cigarettes. <laughs> that cashier clerk sold a can of cigarettes like it's some time <laughs> robbing a plane. <laughs>
my name even Larry? Bill Larry. <laughs> what are you talking about? Top, top. Why am I dressed like a 2000 skater Pinterest board? I don't even know how to skate. Officer Anna, what's happening? Officer Anna? Grant, Carter, you don't remember? The countless hours spent practicing for roles Larry and Wyatt? The tireless rehearsals working to bring them sanity? Claire, what are you talking about? What's going on? I is it showtime? What day is it? It's been two and a half weeks! Two weeks off book, then tech week? Oh, and the cast party before the show. It was all like one big manic episode. We've been working bare bones with the knuckles for the past month getting ready for this show. I don't know who I am anymore after acting. I'm not a cop. I've countless to stop random people in the hallways asking for their licenses. I've worn this same jacket and walked around <laughs> drinking root beer like I was cranking down Natty Light for weeks. <laughs> I smell awful. It's getting down pathways and streets for like three weeks straight. I am fully covered in bruises. I thought this would be fun. I remember you, Claire, and that sadistic director recruited me, told me we're in need of male actors, preferably one who knew, knows the ways of being a washed up goofy uncle. Hey, buddy, I'm in the same boat. I love being in theater and acting my heart out. Notice the past tense? But after this one act of overworking and rehearsals every day, I'm running away from the main stage. And the worst part is the plot. A confusing story about a town with fog that turns your greatest fears into reality? That sounds like the plot of every horror game ever. No, the worst part is the director used an actual fear of mine, fish. And it made me kill Thumbtack. God, what an asshole. We need a new gear. Theatrophobia. Wait. If your greatest fear is theater, and the town turns whatever our greatest fear is into reality, does that mean... No, no, no! We're not analyzing this any further than we have to. Let's just end this and go get something to eat. I've only had coffee and donuts for the last two weeks. <laughs> no amount of food will help you recover from the trauma of an Arkansas hiking trip before a show. <laughs> Even with these silly pigs, it wasn't worth it. I've only had cigarettes to eat and herbs to medicate. How do you eat cigarettes? Candy cigarettes! It has like no calories. I've probably lost 70 pounds. <laughs> Guys, these one-off liners aren't helping the situation. Let's just end this one act, right? And go get something to eat. I love or something? That's yes, right. Shouldn't be Trump and dumping and just close the curtain and then have an after party at Cracker Barrel or even Bronx. I literally do not care where we go. I'm just tired and want to go home. Also, what's the deal with the fog? We're to beat the damn plot. Light crew, turn the lights off. Yeah, and turn the mics off too. Stop. <laughs> yeah, and close the curtain. We all quit! <laughs>
work with. And I know they're going to do great things. We've got our big ceremony that starts in a week and a half, so I'm going to save the rest of the tears for then. Mm -hmm. um, but I would like to introduce them really quickly. So when I say their name, please step forward. Um, starting on stage right, we have Kayla. <laughs> Atlas. <laughs> Kaylin. <laughs> and Lincoln. Woo! Yeah! Truly an amazing, talented group. They are writers, directors, actors, designers. They are prop makers, they are lighting people, they just, they've done it all, they've been amazing, and so this is their kind of final part call for a scripted show, so thank you for sharing tonight with us, you've been an amazing audience, I'm going to let them go greet you out in the lobby, and have a fantastic evening, thank you.